Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of TechNeed.com. Today, I'll be talking about how to set up log rotation using log rotate in Linux operating system. Have you ever wondered why the slash var slash log file system never get to fill up when you're running a moderate application on your Linux system. This can only happen by a mechanism called log rotation with the use of log rotate tool. Log rotation is a process whereby logs are rotated away from the system automatically and systematically. And the systematic rotation of logs depends on the argument that is defined in the log rotate configuration file. With the log rotate configuration file, log rotation can be configured in many ways. And um, we have two log rotation configuration files. We have the one in slash etc slash log rotate.conf. And this one contains the generic information for log rotation. Um, let's yeah, let's have a look at the file and so we see what we have here. So you can see that this file is self-explanatory, and um, this is the default for a Red Hat um, 8.1 system. When you look at the first field, which says rotate log files weekly, so this field weekly means that the log files should be rotated weekly. I can um, put monthly uh, depending on how I wish to configure my um, log rotate. The second field, which uh, means that four weeks worth of backlogs should be kept. So after the fourth week, the fourth log file will be deleted automatically and a new log file will be created. So I can change this value to two to three weeks to you know um whatever i want you should know how you want to configure your environment and the third field um which says create new empty log files after rotating old ones so it means that new empty log files should be created after rotating the old ones and the fourth one which is use date as a suffix of the rotated file that means um, at the end of the file, of the log file, you should use the date as an extension. Um, if you watch my uh, previous video, I said I was going to um, explain this in log rotate. When you check um, the var log, one of the files in var log, we saw that the end of the file was carrying um, a date extension. So it's just a way to quickly remember when the log was generated because it's going to show the date. And we're going to see that as well in this video. And this other field means that you should compress your logs. Yeah, if your application generates a lot of logs, you might want to compress it. And before you can view the logs, of course, you would need to unzip. So if you uncomment this, that means you want to compress your logs. In this other field, RPM packages drop log rotation information into, into this directory. So it means that you should allow other services, RPM packages, to be able to define their log rotation settings in slash etc slash log rotate directory, which is the di which is this directory, and include configuration from slash etc slash log rotate dot d, which is the second configuration file for log rotate so this like i like i said this is generic so if you want to configure a log rotate um for your system or for an application you would need to define it you can define it here as well yes look at this last field system specific logs may also be configured here but you know um for a standard 
um, it's best you define it in this directory it's a c slash log rotate dot d directory so this is a directory where users can define their log rotate script for a particular service if you look at the content in here you see other scripts other log rotate configuration file so for example when you look at the library deed library this is for kvm virtualization if i open this you can see the fields i have here just as i've explained um earlier weekly you mean it means the logs should be rotated weekly um missing okay i would explain some of these things too i explained compress it means that the logs should be zipped you know so these are the um things you see in a log rotate script and as a user you might also want to define your own script for a particular service and it is best you do it in this location if you have a log um, rotate script for a particular service here in this directory and you also have it in log rotate.conf directory the definitions here in this directory the definitions here would override the ones here because the definitions here takes a uh, um, higher preference over the ones here so it's going to override whatsoever configuration you have here let me repeat myself again the definitions the the scripts you have in log rotate.d directory will take higher preference over the ones you have in log rotate.conf file so if you have um, a script defined for two services in both location the one in log rotate.d would override the one in log rotate.conf file so for this um argument missing okay it means that it is okay for the log files to be missing and if it is missing don't give an error just go on to the next file it is also possible to set the value to non missing okay and for the delay compress it means that the compression of the previous log file should be delayed onto the next rotation hence without the compress value being defined in the script this value is not useful for the copy co copy truncate argument it means that the original log file will be truncated to zero after a copy has been created and for the min size value it means that the log files should be rotated until they grow bigger than the size byte however if a time is specified it won't be rotated before the time so for so for some linux distribution log rotate is not installed by default but i know that for modern distributions log rotate is installed by default so to confirm if log rotate is installed in your system you can just use the command rpm i think qa to query log rotate all right so you can see the log rotate package being installed on my system so in the next video i will show you how to configure log rotate for um, services thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye for now